Hi, I'm Steve Cocker. I'm the pastor of Kenham Baptist Church. It's wonderful to be with you today. I'd like to ask you a question. Do you believe that prayer can open the door for God to do a miracle in your life? Well, I'd like to introduce you to a young lady. Her name is Hannah. You can find a story in the book of 1 Samuel in the Old Testament of the Bible. She was a lady who believed by faith that God would answer every prayer that she prayed. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, it's the evidence of things not seen. And as Hannah stood before the Lord, she poured out her soul to him. At the same time she was pouring out her soul to him, I believe Father was filling her spirit full of the answer to her prayers. She was persistent with her faith and she was a woman with a mission, as we say. Between verses 16 and 17 in that first book of Samuel, we find an incredible picture appears for us. The priest said to her, I hope that God gives you everything that you pray for. Go in peace. Hannah's reply in verse 17 for us is that she leaves with a face not downcast. In my books, that means she was no longer depressed. She was no longer doubtful at all. She was happy because she knew that her prayer had touched the Father's heart. She was a woman who knelt and prayed in prayer with tears, with tears of grief and anguish. And yet within a chapter, she would be a woman who would sing with joy in tears of joy. Friends, I want to encourage you today. Whatever you've been searching for, whatever you've been asking God for, maybe today is a day that you could pray a prayer very similar that Hannah prayed. A prayer that she knew exactly when she prayed it would open the way for God to do a miracle. Maybe as we pray, like Hannah did, God, believing God totally for him to do a miracle, that you would see it. Maybe you've been asking God for the answer to prayer. Maybe you've been asking, asking God to give you direction for the move ahead, maybe for the promotion or which college school you're, you're supposed to attend, but you haven't heard anything. Why don't you pray like Hannah? Bible declares she prayed with great grief and great anguish. She poured her soul out. Why don't we? The next time we meet with our Heavenly Father, pour out our soul with great grief and great anguish and allow the Father to fill us in our spirit. And we will see the Father move in an incredible way. How do I know this? Because the Bible tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. And if I pray in faith, if we pray in faith, and we believe by faith, then God will open the door for that miracle that you, I, we need. I encourage you, try it. You just may be amazed. Hannah was. Till we can meet again, may good Lord bless you, may he keep you, may he make his face to shine upon you. Why don't you check us out here at Kenton Baptist on YouTube, Twitter, and uh, also Facebook. Why don't you pop down to church? We'd love to say hi. Till next time. Bye-bye.